Welcome back folks, I'm Jay from the Game of CK and I'm back with more Digimon Mod 2003. Alright everyone, so in the last episode, or part if you like, uh, we fought the ZQ leader. Um, unfortunately, he, you know, as expected, he did not tell us where the Digi Egg of Knowledge is. Now, this is where I feel it's one of those silly... It's not really silly because I figured it out kind of quickly-ish when I was a kid. But, you know, I've had moments where something that's kind of obvious and kind of isn't obvious. And I think it's just one of those things where, if you know, you may or may not notice it the first time. I, luckily, I wasn't running around like a headless chicken, but... From I'm pretty certain no one tells you where where it is, you know. No no one actually tells you. None of these guards are gonna talk to you. You know, they're just gonna say, "Hey you, who are you? Hey you, who are you? Who am I?" <laughs> you know, they're not gonna say anything. Everyone's been turned into Oinkmon. No one's gonna tell you, you know. So so how are we gonna find it out? This is where the game kind of assumes, kind of assumes. You remember, uh, remember, remember, remember <laughs> um, about the Suzaku, uh, the Suzaku City, which is basically, like I say, the Suka server of this Suku. Remember that um, we had to go. You can go behind Renamon in the Zuku Hall. Can you remember? You see there that Oinkmon that was blocking our way. Now in the Suk, in the in, in the Asuka one, in, in uh, Suzaku, in the Suzaku version. There's a Renamon here, and basically, once you defeat the leader, Renamon's like, okay, I think you're strong enough to go through this area. You know, she'll let you pass. Now, even though you can't understand what this Pokemon is saying, he'll let you through once you've defeated the leader. Now, of course, the game automatically pulls you out of this area once you beat him. So whether you've paid attention or thought, oh, maybe this person has let me, you know, maybe this Oinkmon or whatever, you know, has let me through, you're not going to know where it is because no one's going to tell you. I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain. I, I could never. I mean, I've, I've watched, I've watched a few walkthroughs. I've read walkthroughs before. Nowhere have I seen that someone basically tell, say, you know, says, "Oh yeah, you have to speak to this someone. I'll give you a hint." No, you have to just assume that you are paying attention here and think, "Oh, here it is." And yes, it's behind here. So basically, we have to go back to. Um, I think it's called the Underground Lake, but in Zuku City. And it's here we will find the Digi Egg of Knowledge. So remember before we had to come here to find, I think it was... Is it uh, Keith? Uh, Keith and someone else, I can't remember who the other guy was. Um, Keith and Nick, that's it. Nick and Keith. Um, and yeah, and, and we also, if I remember correctly, I think I think I did. We should have fought uh, is it Kyukimon, or did I have Kyukimon? I can't remember. We should have fought Kyukimon. I can't remember. It's been a while since I've done the DRI agents, um, but I think I done. Well, I look back and say I haven't done all of them yet, but um, I think I have done all of them. But um, anyway, yeah, yeah. Uh, basically, uh, there's not really main reason to go there in um, the Asuka server, really. Not, there's not really much to do. Not as you just want to fight the Shukan Gekum on there. And that's there, but there's not really much to do. But here, however, of course, they've hidden the Digi Egg of Knowledge. Now, I did actually think that the Digi Egg of Knowledge might be, if you remember where we got the Digi Egg of Sincerity, in um, the swamp, I think it's the Bio Swamp, um, and that little, little house. I thought that they might have hit it in there, they would have done the same thing. But I don't think the player says anything if you go there. The house is like lighted, lighted up. The house is like glowing in this server, I don't really know why. It makes you think there's something in there, but nothing happens. So, yeah. Yeah, it's underground like. So really, like I said, it's... it's. I figured it out fairly quickly, if I remember correctly when I was younger. But I still kind of thought to myself, you know... It's kind of a, it's a little bit of a guessing game, you know. You, you might think it's here. You might not think, oh, that the Oinkmon's gonna move, you know. I'd be so gutted if I did come back and the Oinkmon didn't move, and I wouldn't know, you know. I, I'd have to wait until I like spoke to him somehow. He somehow turned back to normal. I don't know. 
but yeah, this is where it's located. And of course, we've got a uh, stronger Shukan Gekumon. Another recolor. Yeah. And of course, with um, Digmon, which is what we'll get, we shall be able to uh, go to the um, North Sector. Oh, it's doing that again. Am I confused? Yeah, I am. Seduct. Great. Mad. Great. I know I've heard people say if you if you click boasting or if you click this, he'll always attack. That's not true, it's a lie. It's probably they have more of a chance to, but I've sometimes I've clicked seduct and I've just attacked, so I think it's random. Sometimes I've done it with boasting, sometimes I've done it with other stuff. Oh great. I'm gonna die, aren't I? Boast. No, see look. Boast again. Nope, nothing. So yeah. I could die here. That's one of the reasons why I hate Confused Nebula, because it's it's dickish. It's a mad. There we go. Yeah, I'm mad, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. I find that kind of dickish really, that move. I, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. So I can really screw you over. I used to screw me over when I was younger. I really was not. I was just uh, arr, arr. Luckily there aren't too many enemies that use it, thank god. But yeah. The ones I used to get stuck with, I... Uh, blah, nah. Was not happy. Alright, All time to get to the Geog of Knowledge then. It's actually right where um, Kyukimon is, where we fought him uh, in the other server. So, just gonna get whatever's up here, I think it's an evil fang. Yes it is. Let's go down. Digimon controls, I think, better than Submarimon. I find it easier. But we'll, we'll get to Digimon and I'll show you what, what basically what it's like there. Hey, what do we have here? Digi Egg of Knowledge. Digimon, the drill of power. I mean, knowledge. Man, I still can't believe I can uh, remember that. Yeah, Digi Egg of Knowledge. Yep, you can. Yeah, let's go back to the Super 7, go to the North Sector. And thank god they actually take you back to Zuku City, which I'm quite grateful for. Thank god for uh, cutscene warping. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, technically you can use Digmon now if you really want to, but I wouldn't recommend it unless you know the game or you your Digimon are strong because um, like... Uh, you know, like the lakes or the seabed, I think it's called, the lake bed or whatever, for Submarimon, they're of course their enemies. Now, this is called a circuit board for Digmon, and there are quite strong enemies. But, you know, pretty much, you, you, you're going to need to be prepared for the North Sector anyway, so if you can handle them, then you can handle, um, you can handle the, uh, the North Sector. I can just about do it, but I'm just going to kind of clip my way through as in, you know, if I need to cheese my way through, so I can train with a with with a monster that can monster Digimonster that can, um, basically a Digimon that will give me more experience than the Numamon here, just because you know it makes it easier. And I've already tried fighting it, and I can indeed get more, um, ex you know, I can actually handle it pretty easy, it's not that bad. It's actually one of the weaker monsters in that in the um, North Sector. Now I'm just going to randomly fight these guys for experience. Yep, they both uh, Digimon battles, so I think one of one of them actually accuses you of being that tamer. But obviously even if you lose, it'll just be a game over and you just go back, so... I'm going to try Metal Wolf Claw, which is the finisher I learned. Oop. <laughs> I'm sneezing. Excuse me. Uh, I don't think I shoe. I don't think I shoe um, uh, metal wolf claw. Which you're probably thinking, where's the metal and where's the claws? Well, this is where I start to get a little bit nitpicky about the game. Now, this game I enjoy. I do, but they do some things wrong, including naming techniques wrong, not doing what it says it does, you know, and things like that. It bugs me. I mean, I don't know if they just assume you haven't watched any of the series, which I have. I grew up watching Digimon, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z. I didn't grow up with One Piece, but when I kind of met up with the other Game Rush UK members, 
which two of them watched One Piece, they kind of recommended it to me and they said, oh, if you like this, you like them. I even watched Beyblade. There was probably another anime that I watched. Well, actually, maybe not. I don't think there was any others. They were the typical one. Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, of course. Um, you know, I grew up watching all of them. I didn't watch every single episode, but I watched, like, mainly the first series of everything. Normally, I, I think I normally tend to say uh, the first series of most of the animes I've watched are the best. Like, I kind of probably think, you know, the first season of Pokemon was good. Then I weren't so sure about everything else. I mean, I watched, I watched up to season three of Pokemon, but then when he just started to, you know, you know travel with new people and stuff, I got less interested in it. I just kind of felt like Pokemon, Pokemon's still going on now. I felt like it's dragging. I don't, I don't mind the Pokemon games, I don't really have them, but I've played some of the classic Pokemon games, I like them, but anyway, you know, that's Pokemon. But um, yeah, they do things wrong in this game. Basically, Metal Wolf Claw is literally should be a Metal Wolf Claw. Um, but I'll also be honest, I don't actually know if there even is a Metal Wolf Claw. I can't remember. There's a Howling Blaster, which is basically what I would call Metal Wolf Claw, because it's basically like a blue beam, which this is basically like an icy blue beam. So really, it should have been called Howling Blaster, which is Garuamon's finisher, but Metal Garuamon can use it as well. Um, and someone else I can't remember. Uh, yeah, and well, it has like a missile attack, but I don't know what I don't know what it calls. Called it. it doesn't have it in the game, but basically, you know, you, you can see this isn't this isn't um, a metal war, of course. So things like that, where they name things wrong. Um, I can't. I can't remember if they, I think they named, I think I might have mentioned that they named Metal Greymon's finisher wrong. I know, but you know, when you're older, you do nitpick. I mean, I even thought this when I was a kid. I was like, you know, because 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 Digimon was kind of around then anyway, when Digimon 1 to 1 3 was out. Probably like third season, or just about finished maybe. Something like that, because it was getting on the fourth season, which I did not watch. Um... You know, I was like, wait, hang on, I don't remember it being like that. And then I started to doubt myself, you know, I was like, is this right? But no, I was right. <laughs> they didn't follow it up right. <laughs> and it wasn't the other way around. This, you know, the games came out first. No, it was the series. Or, you know, it was based on the series. It wasn't like Sonic X, you know, where it was based off Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2, basically. You know, it wasn't like that. These, these The series came out first. So, unlike Pokemon, which I'm pretty certain the Pokemon games come out first because the series are based off, you know, po the, the, the you know the generation po Pokemon, the Game Boy Advance games. Well, they were kind of. They were based. They, they, they were based off Ash. Ash, which is basically Pokemon Yellow. But yeah, anyway. You know. Uh, so, uh, you, as you're older, you do nitpick. I mean, I do tend to nitpick more now. I, 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 got, I got quite nerdy. I don't have much of a life. <laughs> I had more of a life than when I was unemployed because now I have a job. But, you know, that, little things like that bothers me. Bothers me. But, um, you know. Enough of me and my little nerdiness of nitpicking of Digimon, my knowledge of it. Yeah, nothing good to say. Yeah, anyway. Right, so yeah, basically, you can actually use Digmon now if you like, but I wouldn't recommend it unless you know what you're doing. How do we use Digmon? Well, these, remember these little holes? We can't use on this one. Um, but those little holes, the ones that, you, that um, you're that sure you've seen, random holes. Holy moly. Basically, now you can dig under there with Digmon. There are some holes that do indeed switch you between servers. There are ones, there's like, I can actually go into, I think it's Jungle jungle Grove or Grave, and there is actually one that will take me to the Asuka version of Jungle Grave, but it will also take me to a hidden area, perhaps in Asuka, uh, to get an item. Because it, I, I find it, it can be, you know, quite easy to get lost in the underground area, which is called the circuit board. So unless you know what you're doing, now I do kind of remember where to go, I could go to Jungle Grave, 
uh, now, go to the Asuka version, and then go to North Sector. But I, I'm, I'm going to do it the way I'd expect the game to, you know, expect you to do it, if you don't know where you're going. So what we're going to do is go all the way back to the Forest Inn, if you remember, and we want to go back through that hole that Bulbmon made, and then basically go to West Sector, which I'll show you soon, and uh, and then I can uh, get my uh, my, uh, words jump out, and then we can go through the uh, the hole in uh, the certain sector of the West Sector, and then we can pretty much go to North Sector. We're not going to do too much there. I'm just basically just getting there now. And, you know, introductional stuff. So, anyways, I'm just gonna jump up for you guys so you don't have to sit me, well, sit, you know, and watch me do all this. And I'll see you in West Sector, so I'll uh, roughly show you where to go from there. <laughs> 